And then the next message that God said we should pray with in mind. It's Canada. It's a very, very peaceful country in North America. It's just to the north of the United States of America. I saw mayhem in a certain place there in Canada. I wanted to suppress the message and then God told me what he has told me in the past. That if you suppress this message and my people die because you did in the issue a warning when I had shown you in a vision what is going to take place, I will demand the blood of those people from your head. So I said, ah, Lord, if it is like that, I'm going to deliver your message so that I'm not, I don't have the guilt of other people's blood on my head. I know when I release this message, there are people who follow this channel who live in, the, in Canada. So because they won't be knowing which part of Canada it is, they will be forced to pray. And God, we believe God is going to expose whatever the enemy is plotting. Because the people, the people I, I even know the persuasion of the people who are plotting a terrible attack against Canada. It's a public place as well. Just like in other places where they've been attacking. It's just a public place. These people, their plans are at a very advanced stage of attacking a prominent public place. It's a place of historic significance within Canada. I've never been to Canada, but I saw the place in a vision. I saw people running in all directions. You know, I saw confusion. Hallelujah. And the Spirit of God, I wanted to suppress the message that I would rather bear good news and tell people in Zimbabwe that the economy will improve next week. In the bond notes, they will be everywhere in the U.S. dollars. I would rather carry such a message. And God said, check your Bible. They also carried warnings. Hallelujah. Those who were intercessors during the times of the Bible, they also carried warnings. Because there is evil in the world in which we live. Let us lift up our hands and pray for Canada. Father, we pray for Canada. We pray for Toronto. We pray for Montreal. We pray for Winnipeg. We pray for all the cities and towns, all the provinces in Canada. We sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ. We say, let every plan of darkness be exposed. Let every evil plot be exposed. Let every terrible ideology be exposed. Let your angels be released, even right now, to expose every plan of the enemy. We neutralize every plan of the enemy. By the blood of Jesus Christ, as we decree the, the divine protection of Canada as a nation, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. 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 Because these people, they lost their city in Syria. So they are planning to retaliate in many of these developed countries that are connected to the United States of America. They are planning to do very serious retaliation. They lost a city which is called Raqqa in Syria. They lost it during the course of this week. And the Spirit of God is saying, most of these people, by the time the city was lost, they had already gone to their mother countries. We are talking of people who are fighting in that Syria, the, in that city. They left, they smuggled themselves out of, out of Syria and found a way of returning back to their mother countries. Some of them, they come from these countries like Canada, Germany, I mean all sorts of countries in the region, Turkey, Belgium, and so on. They are now scattered everywhere. And they will be causing a lot of trouble. They will be causing a lot of trouble. They will be targeting to cause trouble towards festive situations, towards holidays, like the Christmas period. They would target to cause a lot of mayhem when people are just relaxing and enjoying. So we must cover. Oh, if you have got a map at home, I want you to, to open that map and touch Europe. Europe and North Africa. To touch Europe and North Africa. You can touch the whole world, but I want you to touch Europe and North Africa and also to touch the United States of America. Because these terrorists, they are actually targeting those countries, which one way or the other are connected to the United States of America. And also in our prayers, let us remember Israel. Let us remember to pray for Israel. In Psalm chapter 122, we are commanded to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. 
The Bible says they shall prosper that love you. When you pray for Israel, God is going to bless you. I want us to lift up our hands and say, Oh Lord Jesus, we cover the nation of Israel by the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, Nazareth, Jaffa, and other towns in Israel by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every secret plot of the enemy, we say let it be exposed in the mighty name Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us keep hands for God.